Daphne, I know you left this world to go to a better place. I never forget all the memories we shared and the things we did. I know you, your memories will live on. I just want to say, please say hi to everyone in heaven for me. Goodbye. Hey everyone, this is Dawn. I'm Aunt Daphne's favorite niece in Tamra, Florida. <sighs> I'm so sorry that I cannot be there with you, but Aunt Daphne, um, I'm gonna miss our talks. I'm gonna miss that laugh of yours. Um, I'm gonna miss just about everything about you. I can remember the times that we spent in, when you came out, um, from England and we spent together in Prospect. Times that we've spent with Aunt Monica, with Aunt Jenny, Aunt Lena, and with Mummy. Miss you all. Rest in peace. I know um, that you were in pain sometimes, but you never really complained. But most of all, when we talked in the last few years, you would say, Dawn, I can't hear it. I'm like, Aunt Daphne, you have to put your hearing aid in. No, 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 I can hear, I can hear. I'm like, Aunt Daphne, I can hear you, but I don't think you can hear me. But that's how stubborn you are. You're a Simpson, so I understand. Anyway, um, I know you're sleeping well. You're there with the angels and God is taking care of you, my darling auntie. So as you always say, when we get off the phone, um, talk to you soon or you have another thing that says bye for now okay and I'll always remember that you're in my heart I love you very much and I will miss you always take care greetings love light and strength coming straight through to you from the beautiful powerful island of Jamaica my name is Aitali Watson and I'm here to offer my condolences to the family of Daphne Simpson. I personally never knew Miss Simpson, but I like to think that I met her a bit in essence through her lovely daughter, Sister Elaine, who is my good friend, my confidant, my mentor. And for that reason, I'm here with you all in the celebration of Miss Daphne's life. Yes, in the celebration of her legacy. Yes, in the thanksgiving of the memories that you all once shared with her, whether she be mother, friend, sister, neighbor, or just a person who passed you somehow on this highway of life. And I would like to give this tribute to you all, the family, yeah? Stand with us, Lord, on this highway of life. Strength in us, Lord, oh, we've got to survive. And no matter what comes, keep us together. Give 
my wisdom to break free from all my pain. We've got to carry on. You've got to carry on. No matter what I want, you must carry on. You've got to carry on. You better carry on. Mama legacy live on. You must carry on. Reflections on our dear Aunt Daphne. Aunt Daphne and I had the same nickname for each other. Many of our phone conversations began something like this. Aunt Daphne would say, Hello. And I would respond, Hello, Miss World. Aunt Daphne would give out a hearty laugh and follow immediately with, who that? Is Miss World? Debbie, how are you? Me just coming from the garden, you know. How you know when to call? Our conversations were always interesting. I can recall enlightening conversations with Aunt Daphne about her experiences coloring her hair. I can also remember moving and inspiring conversations with Aunt Daphne about her journey from Jamaica to England and the circumstances that she and others endured in the early days as they worked hard to overcome obstacles and accomplish their goals. I could count on Aunt Daphne to say at least a few times in our conversations, one no cause life, no cause nothing. This has stayed with me and has helped to shape my perspective in countless situations to my benefit. Before the end of every conversation, Aunt Daphne would inquire about everyone's well-being. This in keeping with her very caring nature, which her nephew Ricky mentions in his reflection. Ricky says, Aunt Daphne was a very loving and caring person who could be counted on to go the extra mile to ensure that others were cared for. She very often greeted others with a smile and although she was soft-spoken, she could be very stern when necessary. Aunt Daphne has left a space that will be hard to fill. We miss her. Rest in peace, Aunt D. That's from Ricky. Donna, Aunt Daphne's niece, writes, quote, My memories of Aunt Daphne go back to when I was about three years old. I lived with her mom and dad and I loved when Aunt Daphne came to visit and spend time with me. She would surprise me with gifts and her jokes would make me laugh. I had lots of fun when she played with my cousins and me. When I was about five years old, Aunt Daphne went to live in England. She would still visit and she always brought gifts for me. Having my Aunt Daphne as part of my life, especially while growing up, was an amazing experience for me, and I am missing her very much." Unquote. Aunt Daphne's presence effortlessly added sparkle to our family interactions. Such was her personality. Anne, Aunt Daphne's niece, puts it this way. Quote, Aunt Daphne had the most infectious laughter, which she often followed closely with something like, Tapinizia or Awe you are say. 
and continues, quote, Aunt Daphne and I shared the same birthday, and she was very dear to me. Sleep in peace, Aunt Daphne. We will cherish you in our hearts, Unquote. Aunt Daphne had a keen sense of style and was always attractively attired. It was not unusual for us to receive compliments on items of clothing and other gifts that we had received from Aunt Daphne. Her sister-in-law, Merle, alludes to this in her reflection, which reads, Sister Daphne was a loving and caring sister-in-law to me. She loved her family and was generous to all of us. When visiting us, she would never give a gift, no matter how simple, that did not meet her discerning tastes. Sister Daphne was very pleasant yet firm. She was very trustworthy and always had a listening ear. She will be missed very much. Merle's husband, Ozzy, keeping things on the lighter side as he continues to process the grief of his sister's passing. He adds that he got his first pair of trousers as a gift from his dear sister Daphne. Ozzy also remembers enjoying his childhood with Aunt Daphne and their other siblings as they did chores and activities such as accompanying their father to plant, reap, and sell crops. Aunt Daphne's relationship with her siblings was exemplary. She remained close to them throughout their lives and displayed a genuine interest in the lives of their children. Topics of conversation with her nieces and nephews often included books that Aunt Daphne had read. Her nephew Chris shares that those discussions remain dear to him along with one of his favorite gifts from Aunt Daphne, a book entitled Usain Bolt, Faster Than Lightning, My Autobiography. In addition to her love of reading, Aunt Daphne enjoyed attending her beautiful garden and hosting her loved ones. Her hospitality was second to none. Tony, her nephew, recalls that one of his favorite memories of Aunt Daphne was how kind and welcoming she was when he first visited England. He says, quote, Aunt Daphne spent time talking to me about a range of things, found out that I loved cricket, and encouraged us to attend the West Indies versus England test match at the Oval. And what a match it was with Michael Holding taking 14 wickets plus many other great performances. Unquote. Anne adds, During my family's trip to England, Aunt Daphne welcomed us with much fanfare and made us feel very special, even bringing out her fancy tea set for the occasion. Yes, our Aunt Daphne had a heart of gold. We are thankful to God for her and for the impact that she has had on our lives. A huge part of Aunt Daphne's legacy is the love that she shared through her many acts of kindness. And her powerful legacy will live on. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 13 states, And now faith, hope, and love remain, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Our heartfelt condolences to the rest of the family, in particular, Sherry and family, and Sharon. May you be surrounded by memories that bring you comfort and peace. 
May Aunt Daphne's soul rest in peace and perpetual light shine upon her. From her brother Ozzy and his wife Merle, and from nieces and nephews, Ricky, Donna, Tony, Anne, Debbie, and Chris, with immeasurable fondness.